A stunning new development in the case of Claudia Herrig. Documents released by the Trumbull County Prosecutor's Office state that she has admitted to murdering her husband, and tonight we are hearing it in her own words. At 5, we told you how Claudia Herrig claims she was mentally and sexually abused by her former husband, Air Force Major Carl Herrig. And the gun she bought to commit suicide was the gun she used to kill him. New at 6, Claudia's description of what happened on the day of the murder and how she left the country. Here's First News anchor Stan Boney with our top story at 6. Well, the statements from Claudia Herrig were made on the January 17th flight that she was on that brought her from Brazil back to the United States and eventually to Trumbull County. Now, I'm going to be reading from a report filed by the U.S. Marshal, but there was also an FBI agent present and possibly others as well. Now, according to the documents, Claudia Herrig said that on that day in March of 2007, when her husband was murdered, that they argued when she told him that she was pregnant. When she pointed a gun to her head, Carl, quote, responded by telling her to go ahead and kill herself, but to go to the basement so that she did not get blood on paintings and the carpet. Now, the statement stated that Claudia Herrig said, quote, she was so angry that she shot him. She then tried to commit suicide, but the gun wouldn't fire. Claudia then said she called her father and he talked her into fleeing. She drove to the Pittsburgh airport, then flew to New York, and then on to Brazil. Now, before any of this happened, she said she withdrew $10,000 and sent it to her father in Brazil because she anticipated killing herself and did not want Carl or his children to get the money. Now, this was Claudia Herrig at one of her most recent hearings in Trumbull County Common Pleas Court. In another interview with a detective with the Trumbull County Sheriff's Department, Claudia Herrig said she lost the baby because once back in Brazil, she could not eat or sleep, and she was also very sick. Now, Claudia Herrig thinks that she shot her husband three times because she wanted to save two of the bullets for herself. But when she went to commit suicide, the gun did not fire. So she said it is possible that she did shoot him five times. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.